I think that goldfish memory, that, that short term memory is really important. And, and, uh, something about this conversation came up for me. It was just like, yeah, you know, playing to win is so much about playing to win in the moment. You know, it's like, look, like there, there is going to be, I mean, in this metaphor, there's going to be many battles and there's one great war of your life. If you want to look at it this way and you're going to win some battles and you're going to lose some battles. But here's the thing. You could lose 99 out of a hundred battles and win one battle and win the whole war. So you really shouldn't concern yourself too much with, I lost, I lost, I lost, I lost. Who gives a shit? You're the one that put all that together because a lot of the time it only takes one. This is Way of the Artist with Brandon Colby Cook and Evan Schulte. Exploring the challenges of the creative call so that you can claim your own path and make your life a work of art. Welcome to another episode of the show. This is kind of a sequel to the last one. This one is called Playing to Win. And uh, if you're interested and, uh, you know, you want to tune into the one before this, we talked about choosing to care or opening yourself up to care. And that was really about finding something to put your attention towards and, and also just kind of unblocking yourself, like freeing yourself up a little bit so you have some vulnerability maybe, but like some potential for passion and fulfillment and things like that. This now though, for me, Evan, is about what are your standards, you know? Like, what's like, what do you expect of yourself? What do you want for yourself? Uh, you know, it's about a, I think about getting in reality. Like, what does this take? Like, if I was going to do this for real, what does this take? And what are the best doing? And can I do what they're doing? And, uh, you know, I'll just share this before I pass it on to you. When I, uh, I've talked about this several times on the podcast, but when I uh, played soccer, uh, football for my European friends, but uh, when I played the game, uh, I had the good fortune in many ways, but also misfortune <laughs> in some ways of playing for really top tier, high level, high division teams. and. I say it's a blessing because I got great coaching and I was playing with fantastic players, but I also got confronted with the fact that I just was barely scraping by to fucking keep up in the beginning. Cause like, you know, it was so far beyond. And I, in some ways I got there by good fortune and I would say almost, uh, luck and maybe not totally earned the way everyone else did. But I found myself there and I was on that ship and it was like, swap the deck or jump off the jump off and you're done, you know? And that's just how it worked. But uh, I got to learn, uh, you know, what it takes to be a champion team. And we won the provincial cup. I have a gold medal. Um, I didn't play much of that game. I'll be honest with you, but I did play a bit and, um, you know, and I, 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 I became a captain on my next team after I played with that team because the training was so fucking good. And, um, and I rode the bench for a lot of the season, but I, I had to keep up with these players and I learned, I learned from them and I, I looked at what they did and their, their quality of play and their, their, the standards of excellence. And they were a winning team. We won, I think just about every game we played and we, you know, and you learn to be a winner and you learn to, you just learn to, to figure it out and resolve problems. And, you know, and, and obviously they trained me so well, I became the captain of my next team because those skills were things that I could pass on to others. So playing to win, it will demand things of you, but it will also humble you. And I think that's an important thing of this conversation. One other thing I'll say is like, I went to a practice, uh, for my cousin who was playing in a couple divisions down for me. And one time he's just like, well, you come to my practice and you can kick the ball around with my team. And it's like, sure. Okay. And like, I, I never experienced a lower division practice. I never knew what it was like. I, I, my coaches were so disciplined and structured and they pushed you and you had to work and it was organized and you didn't just fuck around. You like 
you developed every practice. These guys that we showed up and they were just kicking the ball around, kicking it at the net, you know, just everything's disorganized. Like, I don't even know, like, was the practice even starting? What is this? It's just a bunch of kids getting together, like kicking a ball around badly. Um, so anyway, uh, playing to win you, you, your perspective of it. So if you played on a lower division team and that's normal to you, you might think, oh, this is what everyone does. But you need to ask yourself, now whether you're like, say, an, a writer, an actor, a musician, you might think what is working hard and working smartly, you might think you know, but you might need to humble yourself and look at what the best are doing. And you might realize, shit, I've been fucking around for the last few months, years, whatever, decades maybe, and be like, hey, if I'm going to play to win, let's get serious about what it would actually take to do this. You know, I think that in so many ways, this one is, it's almost like a, a, just like a different framing, a reframing of our last, our last episode, right? Like, because playing to win is like, it's also like choosing to care, right? Like you're, it's like, yeah, like you, like you're in it for real, you know, in it to win it, as they say. And I just want to take a second as well to just just add some extra perspective on this sort of title of like playing to win because I don't think, I, I don't think of the, of that in a sense of like a zero sum game type of a situation. It's more of, it's more of an attitude. It's more of an opening to opportunity, right? Because it's, it's about a level of, commitment in the word used a lot and that at least I used a lot in the last one was sincerity, the sincerity of our commitment to, to something, right? And through that commitment, we open ourselves up to all kinds of learning, right? Like, and playing to win, even though you might be the shittiest person, well, if you have that attitude of like, I'm, I'm here to win, I'm here to excel, I'm here, I'm here to, to, to be a master, right? Like that's in so many ways what you're you're doing. And it's funny, I was the a lot of people think that like a master in what they do is is someone who's just perfect. They're just perfect at what they do all the time. And that's not what a master is. A master is just someone who's deeply intimate with whatever their whatever their form is, whatever their craft is, right? Doesn't mean that they're above learning. They're, the master is still learning, right? Um they're just, they have a, a real intimacy with the thing that they do, right? That's been earned, right? And that that happens from that attitude of like playing to win, right? Playing, playing to excel. And also it is still playing, right? It's still fun. They're still, and that's part of the thing is that I think a lot of people is like, when you have that attitude of zero sum game, just like fucking grind it and pain and blah, 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 blah. It's like, yeah, sometimes those things are are a part of that equation, but I don't think that that's that that's not the complete picture of it as well. Because if you don't enjoy it, then what's the point, mm. right? Like if there's no enjoyment, then you're in the wrong thing, yeah. right? You're trying to win at the wrong thing, right? But there's 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 that there's something about that full commitment that opens you up to. that opens you up to your potential and that opens you up to opportunities, right? Because as opposed to when you, if you're just in it to just sort of be there, you know, like you're not really, you're not really pushing yourself. You're not really opening yourself up, right? You're just, ha you're just, you're just kind of half-assing it or you're, when you don't fully commit the problem is, is that you're bound to, I think that you're, you're bound to leaving a lot, leaving a lot sort of left unsaid. And I mean that in a, like kind of a metaphorical sense, right? Like there's a lot that you've left unsaid about yourself. There's a lot that you've left unsaid about who you are, what you are, 
because you've just kind of held it all, you've held a lot of it back out of whatever it is, out of fear, out of, you know, that you might not be good enough, that you might not be whatever it is, but you'll never really know. Nobody else will ever really know either because there was, all, you, there was always a foot that was not out on the field. Am I making sense here? Yeah, you're yeah. not fully in the game. Yeah, you're not fully in the game. And, and, and so that's in terms of just that reframe of like, this is what it is about playing to win. It's not just about winning, yes. right? Playing to win doesn't mean that it's just all about winning because you're going to lose a lot, right? The greatest athletes in the world lose a ton, mm -hmm. right? They learn, they grow, they keep coming back at it. They battle through things. They, they learn things about themselves. They encounter challenges they never imagined having to come through. And that's what starts to get you intimate with the thing on, on ways that like you, you can't even, you, like you just can't even imagine, mm -hmm. right? That, give, that makes you wise, that makes you a master is, is because you become familiar with these things that aren't immediately apparent, you know, to someone who's just coming into it, right? And so that, that's part of why you want to have that, that approach of playing to win, even though you're going to lose a lot, right? You keep coming back, playing to win, playing to win. It also makes it a lot more fun when you're doing it. Again, if you, as long as you're not taking it too seriously, yeah. right? As long as you're not taking it too seriously, but you're, you're going about what you're doing with utmost sincerity and care. I think you bring up a, a really good thing about this you know, not making it all about the result. I do think that there are circumstances and times where the result does matter and it's very important. But I think for the most part, it's not about the result. It's about, you know, it's a lot about the process and the journey there. And I, I think that, you know, we have weird opinions about that in our culture as to like, you know, like there, there's definitely the perspective is like, it's, I don't care how you do it. Just get it fucking done. You know, like there's that definitely that going on in the world and going on in certain circumstances we might find ourselves in. And I think sometimes we even put that on ourselves. Uh, and maybe there is a time for that. I, you know, I like, there's a lot of things where it's like, yeah, you know what? Sometimes there's a time and a place for everything, but maybe it's not the rule. Maybe it's not the, the, the thing you always got to do. Like, um, I remember one time in a soccer practice, I slid tackled to win the ball in a practice. It's kind of like, you're not really supposed to do that, but I won the ball and I fucking tripped up the other guy. And he was fucking furious at me. He was so pissed. Cause like the thing is like, it wasn't really a dangerous tackle, but it was enough that someone could have maybe got hurt. And, uh, we ended up getting a fucking fist fight about it. And, uh, we were just, you know, and you know what? At the end of the day, I, honestly, I, he was right. I was too fucking serious about something where it's like, no, we're here to practice. We're teammates. This isn't, this isn't about winning the fucking ball, like at any cost necessary, you know? And I think that, you know, sports are competitive, man. And you get, you get fucking in an inertia of like, I don't care if that other person gets fucking hurt. I'm winning. You know, and there's, and, and like, we look at sports and we look at competitive playoff games and stuff and we're like, that's, people get this fucking fiery thing going, you know, and it's like, yeah, but like, you know, and we don't, like in sports too, I mean, this is fucking, I like, I hate to say it, but it's like war sometimes. You don't even see that person like a person. That's a fucking piece of meat out there. That's just fucking, it's me or them. And they're going in hard and I'm going in hard. And you just get this fucking mentality. Like I'm coming out the victor and you're going to be fucking scared of me. Cause like when we go in, you're not even going to want to go in the corner with me. Cause if you go in the corner, you're getting fucking wrecked, you know? And there's, there's something about that. Like, like that's a very masculine type of thing, but it's like, we appreciate that. We need that sometimes, but not always. <laughs> sometimes we need to fucking, curb the enthusiasm on that one a little bit, right? So like when we're talking about playing to win, I think you bring up some interesting, interesting thing here is like, hold on. What are we trying to do here? <laughs> what are we trying to do? Okay. If you're in the playoff 
finals, hockey, whatever, you got to go in the corner hard and you fucking smoke that player because they dared to go in the corner with you. Fuck it, that's what you got to do because that's the game and that's how we play it. But you're in practice with your team the game before the playoffs <laughs> and you want to fucking get that spot on the bench, don't fucking go out and hurt your teammate just to get that spot because that's, you know, and this is where, you know, this is where I think we need to have a little bit of uh, discernment and and care and consideration. Um, there's a quote I shared with you the other day. Uh, I'm going to probably misquote it and I don't even remember who said it. <laughs> but, uh, a heroic person isn't somebody who, well, basically a heroic person isn't somebody who wins. It's a, it's a, it's a person who does heroic things. So I think when you play to win, um, it's not about playing to get the result as much as it is about, I'm going to give this the best that I can possibly give this in this moment. Barring that I'm not going to, if if it's inappropriate for me to hurt or damage or cause wreckage in the world, I'm not going to do that. Because um, sometimes... You could win by just fucking wrecking somebody. But then you also have to live with yourself. And maybe the win isn't worth it. I talked about this in, in a couple podcasts ago about the viper, you know, the, the scorpion and the, the scorpion and the frog. Sometimes you're the scorpion and playing to win can put you definitely as a scorpion. It's in my nature. I'm very competitive. It's like, uh, yeah, but then you fucking, you have all this wreckage. Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah, exactly. Like in, you know, bring up like the sports thing again, right now it's, you know, we're nearing the end of, of playoffs in hockey, but you know, it's a very intense thing and it's very physical and, you know, guys are, you know, taking hits and dishing out hits, but there is a line, right? Where it's like, these guys are all very competitive, but like there are certain things that it's like you cross that line and you're, and you're gone, like you're done. You don't cross that line. That that's you. You've taken this too seriously, right? You've you've lost sight and perspective on the fact that this is a game, yeah. Right, and and one of the things that even though the like the intensity is so ramped up when it when it comes to like yeah, it's playoff time and stuff like that. You know, it's always these guys are having fun. Yeah. You know, like yeah, and there's and there's. There, yeah, there's disappointments and there's, you know, and there's, and there's heartbreaks, but like, shit, man, you got to go out there and you got to have fun. Like, that's something that you hear coaches having to like say, like, they got to remind their guys sometimes, right? It's like, hey, have fun. You know, we're playing, we're playing hockey, you know, we're playing basketball, we're playing and, and yeah, there's all kinds of money and, you know, and fans and like there's all kinds of craziness that's surrounding this whole thing but it's simple yeah you know, at the end of the day this thing is you're we're playing this game and let's and let's fucking play it well right and and by playing it well it's actually more fun than when you're not when you're not fully there when you're not fully committed to what to what you're doing when you're fully committed it's like that you're you said it you know it's like it allows your best self to show up whatever that is at the moment. And maybe, you know, it's like, and again, sports is such a, is, is such a great example of this, but you know, in, in art too, I definitely know for, you know, in acting, you know, I'm coming into this thing and I've been working and my intention is to give a fucking brilliant performance. Right. But sometimes it just doesn't happen. <laughs> Right. Sometimes it's just, it, you just like, no matter what, like you just, you can't do it, but that doesn't change. You know, we were talking, this is almost a, we were talking about this before too, but like, it doesn't change my intention. Right. Even the, in the midst of it where I'm like, ah, this is for some reason, it's just, it, I don't have it totally or like, like even to the degree that I want it to be. Right. And it doesn't always necessarily mean that you're doing a bad job. Right. Doesn't it always necessarily mean that like you're giving a, a shit performance. It's just that, you know, whatever it is, like you have more and it's just, you're, it's not coming through. And that, I think that that just, that just happens. Right. And you move on from those things. You forget about those things. You got to have a short memory. And in, and in sports too, they say that 
um, you know, a lot is like have, have a short memory for your wins and your losses, yeah. right? Like, so, you know, Hey, celebrate, celebrate that win tonight for two hours and then tomorrow back to the process. Right. right? And that process is all about the next one playing to win every single time, every single time, every single time. And athletes will tell you, it sucks to play when you're losing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And it's great to play when you're winning, right? Like, he's like, but there's, there's something that, that you've got to show up with every single time to do that, right? And, there, and, and, and it's showing up with whatever you've got, mm -hmm. right? Whatever it is that you've got, whatever it is that you feel about it, you got to show up with whatever it is, mm -hmm. you know? And, and with that intention of giving it everything that you have, right? And, and you brought this up before it's it's i don't know if it was in the last podcast or if it was in this one but there's it's far more painful in the long run to to not fully commit to not fully care far more painful to 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 live your life that way there's it it leaves you in a in a in a just sort of a a gray just sort of a gray mauve <laughs> sort of plainness, nothingness, you know, then when you are fully showing up to, to whatever it is that you're doing. And, you know, I, there, there's something else I'm thinking of sharing, but I, I, I don't think I want to, at least not at this moment. So <laughs> I'll pass it back to you. Yeah. You know, you're talking about having a short memory. I think this is an important thing because it's like, you know, you know, I think about acting, right? Remember uh, you're in a scene study, say for a month, you're working on a scene for a month, right? Like four classes. And then on the third class, you fucking knock it out. People are, whoa, that was so great. Holy shit. You were so emotional. Holy, why, why? Then you come back week four. Okay, I got to recreate that. <laughs> it's like you're fucked let it go you gotta let it go today's a new day you know you're a different person is that saying uh um no man is the same man no no man or river is the same river because uh a man steps in a river at one point steps at a river at another point it's a different man different river and that's the thing is like i, I totally fucked up that quote but the point is is that <laughs> Yeah, you're not the same person. Like even a week, you think, oh, I'm the same person I was. No, you're not. Because the thing is, there's another funny thing about acting is that you you do a, a scene and you have this massive catharsis what you did your scene and you changed as a person. Because like you worked this character and the character had this big emotional catharsis and all this stuff happened that week. And you come back, you're not going to have that catharsis because you'd had that catharsis through that character last week. And now it's a different week. And this can happen on film sets where you're shooting one day and then the next day you're shooting another scene and you've changed as a person from the transformative experience you had on set the day before. And so I think that goldfish memory, that, that short-term memory is really important. And, and uh, something about this conversation came up for me. It was just like, yeah, you know, playing to win is so much about playing to win in the moment. You know, it's like, look, like there, there's going to be, I mean, in this metaphor, there's going to be many battles and there's one great war of your life if you want to look at it this way. And you're going to win some battles and you're going to lose some battles. But here's the thing. You could lose 99 out of 100 battles and win one battle and win the whole war. So you really shouldn't concern yourself too much with, I lost, I lost, I lost, I lost. Who gives a shit? You're the one that put all that together. Because a lot of the time it only takes one. Case in point, meeting the love of your life. You don't have to meet more than one. You just need one. You could date a fucking thousand people. Only takes one. And this is a really important thing to remember in playing to win, is that often that's all it is is it just takes the one and tomorrow's a new day. You know, next minute is a new minute. Everything's a new. And I think, uh, when, when we're playing to win, we can drag the past into this world and say, well, you know, I'm a, 
I'm a loser. I've lost so many times or whatever fucking story you're telling yourself. And it's like, well, you're like, that doesn't even exist anymore. Like, even if people remember it, who cares? Like, that's done. You're here now. And something I learned, and this transform this transformed my career in the film industry. This is when things changed for me. Uh, I realized that I have to show up every day and decide that I'm good no matter what. Even if I'm shit, I'm good. I'm just, I'm, 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 I have it in me. And it's not for me to decide whether I'm shit, whether I did what I did. I just know, hey, you know what you're doing, man. You know how to do this. You've trained enough. You've learned enough. You've fucking done the work. So what? You're not feeling up to it. So what? You're feeling sick. So what? You know, fucking so-and-so died in your life and you're fucking struggling with that. If you're going to show up and you're going to do it, you do it and you're going to do it well based on what you know. And that's just how it is. And then things just started fucking happening for me. And I think it's like this, this element of like, look, you don't even know. You don't know what it takes to win because here's the other thing. It's not the same every day because all the other, if you're playing sports, all the other players are having a brand new moment too. And they might be going through shit that you have no idea about. So you think, oh, I'm playing this player and he's so much better or she's so much better than I am all the time. And it's like, yeah, but today they might be off and today you might be off, but they're a little more off than you are and you win. And that's how it works. So who gives a shit? Show up, play to win. It's something that, this is a mentality, right? It's a, it's a, you know, in the competitive world, it's like that, but also not just in the competitive world with other people, the competitive world with yourself. Maybe you have this idea of like you, you did this one scene and you were fucking the best you've ever been. And then you're doing this other scene in this movie or this play. And it's like, you're not the best you've ever been, but that's all it needs to be. And that's the thing about winning. Often, uh, we don't know what's going on, you know? And here's an, one other case in point. I remember, I, so I used to play forward in soccer, high pressure position. Often you'll, you know, often you won't play the whole game. Often you'll get subbed on at the end and you'll be expected to score a goal in the last few minutes. And it's like fucking pressure. You've touched the ball once, three times. <laughs> you don't even touch the ball and you're just fucking, okay, if I get a chance, I better fucking bury it. A lot of pressure. And there was a, uh, you know, there was this fucking perspective I had where it's like, okay, if I don't score, I didn't play a good match. And then I think it was somewhere around when I was like, in my like late twenties, I remember realizing I wasn't playing as seriously, but I was still playing pretty competitive. And I remember going like, Brandon, you played a great fucking match and I hadn't scored. And I was thinking, yeah, I did play a great match. It was like, shit, it isn't about the result, whether I score. It's about, I made all my passes. I never lost the ball. I created looks. I created opportunities. I did all this great stuff in the game and everything I did contributed and helped. It didn't fucking go in the net but who gives a shit? You know what I mean? I was participating in us having a shot at winning. And so I think that's a, that's a really important perspective to, to learn in uh, playing to win is that sometimes you're not going to get the result, but it doesn't mean you didn't play to win. You know, a lot of, you know, in terms of what it means to like play to win, just, I didn't necessarily expect this conversation to go in this direction, but here we are. And it's, you know, it makes me think, you know, some of our laws, right? And simplicity and process, right? And there are so many things that we do to overcomplicate the thing that we're doing, you know, the thing that we might be trying to win in, right? And and it just adds clutter and confusion into into the thing that isn't necessary, right? But part of, you know, you, you apply simplicity and it's like, what's, what's the simplicity? It's like, well, just focus on the process, focus on the things that you know how to do. Right. Because, you know, as you said, like things, it, it's going to be different, you know, from, from game to game, you're not the same person. Your teammates aren't the same people. You're facing different people that, than that you've never faced before. There's just so many there, there's like an infinite number of variables that 
that you don't know until you're presented with them. So that, that presence that you're talking about, right? Like you gotta, you, you gotta have room for that thing, but it doesn't mean that you're showing up, you know, completely empty handed here, yeah. right? You're showing up with that process, right? You're showing up with those things that you've, you've learned that help you to show up in the best way possible, right? Like in acting, I think of, you know, a lot of those things for me aren't, aren't techniques that I learned there. It's, it's perspective, you know, and like we were already touching on, it's like, you got to have a short memory, you know, or it's, it's like, yeah, I had a great performance last night and now I got to go up and perform tonight. And there's this part of the brain's like, you got to do the same thing. And it's like, how are you like, like, how did you do the thing? How did you make that happen? How did you, you know, get yourself emotional in that moment and blah, 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 blah. And it's just like, well, I got there by just showing up, being present, being focused on these things. I can't force myself to do the same thing yeah. tonight that I did last night, but I can show up with the same attitude. I can show up with the same places where I'm putting my attention. It's like, okay, I'm putting my attention on my partners and just responding to what they're saying. I'm, I'm putting my attention on, on, on really the, like what are the things that I'm saying to this person and really, really talking to them and really listening to them. And if I get lost a little bit in, in, in my head, I go, okay, hang on. What's going on here? What's happening right now? Right. And okay, I'm back in it. Right. Like I'm just putting my attention on, on the right things. Right. That's something that my experience has given me is just knowing, okay, these are things I need to, when it comes to game time, <laughs> these are the things that I need to put my attention onto right? I can't put my attention onto all these other things that, you know, I was doing before, like on, you know, what I was preparing and working on at home. That doesn't matter right now. What matters is just these things. Mm -hmm. This is part of the process. I focus on that process and that gives me that the best opportunity to succeed, the best opportunity for excellence and, and to win. And like you said, sometimes it doesn't even mean that, you know, there's, there's like a win per se, but it doesn't mean you weren't excellent. Right. And that's really, you know, when you can feel good about the way you showed up and the way that you played, like that's really that like there's, that's something that endures, right? That's something that you can always, that you have some level of control over, right? And you don't always have control over the outcome, but you do have some control over the way that you, that you show up, right? And, and, and in that, that pursuit of like, okay, yeah, like things kind of went a little bit sideways, but Hey, I, I, this went really well. And this went really well. This went really well. These were all things. And you even hear that in sports, you know, like there's coaches will say, you know, after a loss, they're like, yeah, you know, we didn't win the game there. Could they nitpick about certain things about, about how they played sure they could but they're not going to and they're like they're like i liked our process tonight mm -hmm. we're doing the right things and if we keep doing these things like we did tonight we're actually we're going to start getting more wins than losses right and very often that is the case right like it's like you're doing you're just you're doing the right things doing the right things doing the right things that's all process that's all process and that's something that i think you know artists like great artists that's what you start to to learn we talked about that in a fairly recent podcast too they're focused on on process not about what comes out of it because by focusing on the process the weird byproduct is that the best results start coming out of it but if you focus on the results you're going to do shit right you've got to be focused on the things on, on just the things that you can do right now in the moment well we're coming to that witching hour evan yes this has been a good this has been a good chat uh, I'm just going to share the beer again. You got this, but I'll just share it just to speed eight time. We both like it. It's called Parklandia Hazy IPA, Stanley Park Brewing. Not an ad. We just have a beer. Every podcast is part of our tradition because that's how these conversations started. Go to Craft Brewery, have a talk with your friend, talk about things that you care about, and maybe you'll start a podcast like we did. <laughs> and uh, I fucking love, I love these talks. So uh, I will say this. Um, yeah, you know, playing to win, I think really like what it's what it's about is is 
you know, without taking it seriously, when are you going to get serious about it? You know what I mean? Like, like when am I going to, and I'd rather say, when am I going to get real about it? Cause I think when you start something, you know, like say you're starting as an actor, let's just use this as an example. It's all play. It's all fun. You just fucking like getting up and reading the scene with people and uh, emotionalizing and doing this shit and people clap and you're like, Hey, fucking, this is pretty cool. You know, um, maybe you're just doing scene study. Maybe you're just in class. I used to fucking love acting class. It was so much fun. I was so fulfilled. It didn't even have to go anywhere. I just fucking loved being there. I loved connecting with other actors and working on stuff and, you know, going for coffee afterwards or having a meal together and chatting about this shit. And it's fun. And I think there's, you know, you start to care and whatever. And then there's a certain point you go, Hey, you know what? Maybe I could really do this. Maybe this is a real thing for me. And I think this conversation is about, well, if you were going to get real about it, what would that mean? And, uh, somehow you have to retain that fun that got you into it in the first place. So I would say when you're playing to win, I would say, and we didn't talk a lot about this, but this is what I would leave everybody with. Play to win, but don't lose the thing that was fun and exciting and joyful and fulfilling in the beginning. But play to win. Don't leave everything on the table. Don't leave this potential on the table. You know, put it all out there. But at the same time, have fun putting it all out there. Just be like, well, you know, this is what I got today. Let's see, you know, and, and, uh, and, and, uh, I'll give one example before I pass it off. I, I, I've been, uh, I'm not really much of an artist in the sense of like drawing, like I, I have some limited abilities, but I really appreciate it. I fucking, when people can draw and they can sketch and just do things, I'm just like, oh, I just love it. It's, and there's a lot of things that I see like sketch artists do where I'm like, oh man, I just love to be able to do that. That's so cool. And so, um, there is someone I follow on social media who, he, he's like draws half a face and he's like drawing with his right hand. And he's like, see, just because I understand how art works doesn't mean that I'm a, doesn't mean that I'm a good drawer with my left hand. He's like, get in your reps. And he draws the left part of the face with his left hand. And you see the comparison. It's not as good. It's good, but it's not nearly as good. He's like, get in your reps. He's like, even though I know what I'm doing, doesn't mean I can do it. And so I think when you're playing to win, yeah, get in your reps, get in your practice, get in your disciplines, do your things regularly, work at it, put attention to it, put care into it, try, figure it out, fumble, pick it back up, try again. That's playing to win to me. And just because you know what to do doesn't mean you can do it. And you need to have that recognition that, hey, sometimes I just got to do it and do it and do it and do it. And eventually, if I just keep doing it, I'll get good. And that is a part of playing to win. It's not always just about, I tried really hard. It's about this trying really hard is based on hours, days, weeks, months, years of discipline that has been my reps over and over and over of learning how to do the right things by default. I just do them because I do them. So that to me is also a big part of playing to win and having fun in your discipline as you do your reps. Yeah, I think I'll just echo some of those sentiments, man. Like it's, it's, yeah, like, and understanding that playing to win is part of the fun. It's, it's going to be part of what makes the thing fun. The There's just like, it, it it's like there's that line, yeah. right? There's just, just, yeah, and be mindful of, of that line where suddenly it's like, this isn't, it's not fun anymore. Like it's, it's the things being, has now been taken too seriously. We've crossed the, the line of like, zero sum game where where we we no longer see the forest for the trees we can't appreciate anything else in in what's happening and what's going on we can't honor you know our process and 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 how we performed and how we you know and how we showed up or the fact that we we did just show up you know and even if if we we couldn't muster the best that we know that we're capable of we still showed up, right? Like we got to be able to appreciate all of those things and, and yeah, and, and not take it too seriously in, in, in the whole grand scheme of it. But yeah, there's, it, it's a funny conversation because life is so full of things like this, you know, where it's like, it's not a one thing or the other, you know, it's a both together in some kind of harmony and finding that, that harmony and finding that balance of, of 
where this thing is is really thriving right because yeah you can you can play to win too seriously and you can do it not not sincerely nearly sincerely enough but there's a place in the middle there where it's like that all comes together and and you find that approach you find that that perspective you find that process that that takes you to a place where it's like yeah you are fully in what you're doing and you're having a fucking blast doing it right and sure there's going to be times where it's just like that was a tough one that's rough you gotta you gotta take a moment you know that's you build that into your process too right it's like okay what happens when i'm in kind of this headspace like okay i'm taking it a bit too seriously what do i need to connect with what do i need to do to just shed some of this stuff to forget about what happened you know that last time i went out there what do i need to do to you know there's there's these things exist and and it's part of learning about how we work and how we function but ultimately yeah play to win play to win it makes it far more interesting it makes it far more fun and it's the only way that you see what you've got thank you for listening in on our conversation today We hope you found something helpful that you can carry forward with you. Head over to our website, wayoftheartist.com, for more free exclusive material and learn about the show. If you haven't already, please support us by subscribing to the show, sharing it with people you know, and keeping compassionate, creative conversation going.